Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this lecture, I would like to explain an introduction for the pre-stressor concrete beam. See here, analysis by stress concept. So here, the figure shows a simply supported beam, simply supported pre-stressor concrete beam of rectangular cross section. So this is the rectangular beam. See here, of span L. And cross section will be B by D. So here a tendon is placed. So this is the tendon which is placed along the centroidal axis. So this is the centroidal axis. See here. This is the centroidal axis. Here only the tendon will be placed along the centroidal axis in this rectangular beam. So this is the one concept. So the tendon is placed along the centroidal axis. So next in this lecture only I will show you the concept of the set tendon is placed at some eccentricity e from the centroidal axis see here the loading also acting so if loading is not given self weight of the load which is a uniform distributed load is acting on a beam like dead load will be considered as b into d into 1 its unit weight of rcc like that so the beam is also subjected to an external load system and let p be the pre-stressing force supplied by the tendon so due to this pre-stressing force the compressive stress induced in the concrete that is compressive stress induced in the concrete. So what it will be? So we know stress will be equal to force by area. See here for the cross section of beam B by D when a tendon is placed along the centroidal axis stress due to pre-stressing force will be equal to P by A at the top P by A at the bottom also P by A and stress due to bending moment stress due to bending moment will be equal to plus or minus m by z see here at the top plus m by z bottom minus m by z okay this is the diagram okay so this is the reference line and here positive will be towards right and negative will be towards left and again, what are the final stresses? What are the final stresses? See here, final stresses or extreme stresses at top will be equal to P by A plus M by Z. At bottom will be equal to P by A minus M by Z. See here, in the final stresses, the diagram clearly indicates P by A plus M by Z. P by A minus M by Z. Okay. So this is the formulas we have to remember when the tendon is placed exactly along the centroidal axis. And now see here. This is the another concept which is related. See here. This is also a rectangular beam of cross section. That is B by D. So, so if simply supported beam of span L AB. Here, this is the centroidal axis and this is the tendon. This is the tendon. Means the tendon is placed not exactly along the centroidal axis. In the last concept, the tendon is placed exactly here. But here, the tendon is placed at some eccentricity. So maybe the eccentricity will be 100, 200, like that. Means another concept. Means there is a chance of getting some eccentricity also here. So in the Previous one, extreme stress at top and bottom will be equal to P by A plus or minus M by Z. Here, one more additional pressure also coming. That one will be equal to stresses due to eccentricity of the pre-stress. That is minus 2 plus P A by Z. So that's what we have to remember here. Again, cross section of the beam will be equal to B by D. Direct stress due to pre-stressing force is P by A. And Stresses due to eccentricity of the pre-stress, one will be minus P E by Z, another will be plus P E by Z. And again, stresses due to external bending moment, same, M by Z, M by Z. And final stresses will be equal to, final stresses, one will be at the top, another will be at bottom. That one will be equal to P by A minus P E by Z plus M by Z at bottom. P by A 
plus P G by Z minus M by Z. Here in the last uh, in the previous concept that is tendons placed at centroidal axis plus M by Z minus M by Z. But here minus P E by Z plus P E by Z. Remember this one once again. Tendon is placed below the centroidal axis. So tendon is placed here below the centroidal axis. You will get minus P E by Z first. Okay. If the tendon is placed here like this. If the tendon is placed here like this. Means above the centroidal axis. So always remember top will be positive. Bottom will be negative. So at that time you will get P by A plus P E by Z minus plus or minus M by Z. So M by Z is constant at the mid span. See here top will be compression. Bottom will be tension. Here top you will get a negative. In case if the tendon is placed above central axis means the diagram will be changed like this. So that is a small concept what we have to remember while solving the problems. Maybe the type of examples also you will get. So extreme stresses at the top will be equal to this one at bottom will be equal to this one.